Hello, so today I wanted to show you my five top tips to make sure you get the perfect gel manicure. So the first one is regarding the cuticle area. So we want to make sure we get rid of all of that dead skin that is remaining on the nail plate. So we want to make sure we're using a cuticle pusher. And what we're going to do with that is just push back the cuticle gently, making sure we get rid of all of that dead skin that's possibly on that nail plate. I usually push back gently first and then I go back in a second time a little bit more just to make sure we can see exactly what's underneath to see the dead skin. And then I want to use the other end of my tool, which is a nail scraper, so we can get rid of all of that dead skin by removing it off that nail plate. So we don't have to use much pressure with this, just a really light pressure, removing all of that dead skin remaining on the nail plate. So that was my first tip, getting rid of all of that dead skin. My second top tip is to make sure you get rid of all of that shine on the natural nail plate. And we want to make sure we use a 240 grit file, so nothing more coarse than a 240 grit file. And we're going to file around the cuticle zone first, and then we're going to file over the whole nail, making sure we get rid of all of that shine. And we also want to make sure we go around the edges of the free edge to make sure that there's no shine around there as well. My third tip is to use a prep and dehydrate solution, making sure you get rid of any oils and contaminants on that natural nail or on the extension. So making sure you use that prep and dehydrate. And as you can see with my lint-free wipe, I'm pushing back the cuticles again, making sure I get right under that cuticle area with my wipe to get rid of any oils in that zone. And then I'm scrubbing over the entire nail plate for 10 seconds and then under the free edge also, because a lot of oils and contaminants can get under the free edge as well. So make sure you scrub the entire nail and also under the free edge. My fourth tip is making sure each layer is nice and thin. So especially with the gel color layers, because they can be slightly thicker, make sure you apply them nice and thin and get a good coverage over the entire nail. Because if that nail is quite thick, it's going to lead our clients to be able to pick at it as it grows out um, after two or three weeks. So we want to make sure it's nice and thin. To make sure that our coverage of our gel colour is really nice and pigmented as well, make sure that your brush is nice and flat because if we have the brush too upright, it's going to cause the colour to look a little bit streaky. So make sure the brush is nice and flat when you apply that gel colour. And my last tip is about getting a really good smooth coverage around your cuticle zone and also along your free edge. So I'm going to use here the Detailer 9 brush, which is by Magpie. And we can use this to get a little bit closer to the cuticle zone. So still not touching the cuticle area, but just getting a little bit closer and getting a really nice smooth surface around that area um, really helps using a smaller brush. Another thing you can do as well, especially if a client's got quite short nails and it's hard to cap that free edge, we can use this nail up brush to cap our free edge either with the normal gel bottle um, we can use to cap or we can use the nail up brush. So either of those ways are fine, but especially if they've got short nails, the nail up brush will definitely help you to get a better capping around that free edge. And that will just help all of your layers to kind of seal in around that natural nail so you don't get any lifting or any peeling of your gel polish. So that's all five of my tips to get the perfect gel manicure. I hope you enjoyed it.